What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kevin Brown, also known as Expressed Words with a Z. And welcome back to Speak It, See It, Feel It. Where you can speak your life into existence, you can see it becoming your reality, and you can feel as if it is already done, family. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to another video. I hope you all are having a great day today, and I hope you all are feeling blessed, okay? Now listen, we're gonna get right down to this message. Not gonna be too long of a message today, but we gotta talk about the issues, family, that we are up against in the world and what is happening, okay? Remember, they're gonna do everything to keep us distracted, family, and that is exactly what is going on right now. Remember, all of this was built and created by design to keep us in a weakened state, all right? Now, how many of you saw what happened in, in, uh, in Kansas City, man, with all the cattle that just died overnight? I don't know exactly how many it was. I've been seeing numbers from 3,000, 5,000 to 10,000. Whatever the number is, I don't believe it. I am not buying it whatsoever. They're saying global warming or respiratory disease, stuff like that. I'm trying to tell y'all right now, they are trying to starve us, family. The people in the high places, the wicked ones, they are trying to starve us, all right? Look at inflation, family. Everything has already gone up in prices so much. Gas prices high, food high. There's already food shortages going on around the world as it is. There's a shortage on baby formula, okay? They do not want us to succeed they do not want us to move forward remember satan is roaming the streets to devour to steal kill and destroy all right satan is the prince of this realm family all right so he's going to go after us in every single way possible and that is why there is so many distractions right now so many things going on in the world to keep you looking in this direction so you don't focus and look in this direction okay now with a food shortage this is how it starts all right, this is how it starts. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. I've already seen this happen with uh, with chickens as well. And then afterwards, the chicken, the prices of chicken has gone up. So best believe that the price of beef is going to go up. All right, family. So if you have a, a, a nice yard, right, even on the indoors, you guys can go ahead, get you a garden, build you a garden, and start growing your own food, indoors or outdoors. Grow your own food, and not only that, not only that, love thy neighbor, family. Okay, because if you got elderly neighbors, or you got people that can't make it to the grocery store to get them some bread, some water, some eggs, some milk, whatever it is, all right, we have to stand together. All right, we have to stand together. There's no reason why Mr. Gates should be owning majority of the farmland in the United States. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, and he is to not be trusted. I'm telling y'all right now, he is to not be trusted okay because there is no reason for him to be owning that he's also behind the you know what that we just dealt with family he's behind that as well okay so the people in the wicked places the high ones the ceos the big banking corporations the people that run these big organizations um even some of these charity donation spots man okay they are taking your money they're doing everything possible to keep us in a weakened state and they want us to starve to death, okay? I remember my cousin just the other, uh, not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, she asked us, hey, is there any baby formula over there? Because on our shelves, there's no baby formula, right? Have y'all gone into the grocery stores and noticed that there has been a shortage on the shelves, all right? There may be a shortage in certain places versus other places. There is a lot going on, family. There is a lot going on right now and they are keeping you distracted with the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp uh, um, case. They're keeping you distracted with what's going on in the media. They're keeping you distracted with sports. They're keeping you distracted with everything, with everything that is going on, okay? They do not want us to have a future. They don't want our future generation to grow up and have a future. That is why they are going after your kids, all right? That is why we are living through the crazy times that we are living through right now, okay? That is why they're trying to get into the minds of our children. You must protect your children at all costs. You must protect your family at all costs. Protect yourself at all costs, okay? Something else that they're trying to come across, okay? If they go after our Second Amendment right, family, it's gonna get even worse. It's gonna be extremely, extremely bad. It's very imperative that you do not give up your Second Amendment rights. Don't do it, family. Don't do it. 
Okay, I don't care if they offer you something. Oh, we will. I'm gonna get the government. I'm gonna give you this if you guys just give us this. It doesn't work like that. They are trying to disarm you. They're trying to disarm us. They're trying to take us down. They're trying to keep us in a weakened state. Okay, Satan is roaming the streets to steal, kill, and destroy. But we know that God always wins. All right, God always wins, family. Things are going to get worse before they get better, and that's what I need y'all to realize. Okay, I need y'all to seriously realize that that things will get worse before they tend to get better, all right? Or before they will get better, okay? Now, things in your life are gonna crash. Things in your life are gonna fail. Things are gonna go downhill, all right? And that is because the energies on the planet, we're going through a major global shift in consciousness right now. A lot of people are waking up and we need more people to wake up, family. Share this video out with somebody, all right? But I remember before when everything was happening, my sister, she didn't call me crazy, but she looked at me crazy for, sh for sure. <laughs> So big sis, if you're watching this video, I love you, but I know you call me crazy. <laughs> but, um, you know, she didn't see it. You know, she couldn't really see it. But now she's like, there's definitely something weird going on. There's definitely some things happening. All right. But family, if we don't stick together, if we are always fighting our neighbor, if we're always watching uh, um, stuff to keep us distracted, to keep us in that low weekend state. All right. Before you know it, we're going to get hit in the face. Okay, with a ton of bricks, all right, that's gonna that's gonna be it's gonna be a really detrimental time. All right. If people do not start paying attention right now to what is happening on this planet, all right, it's gonna be too late. And we can't afford to be too late. All right, that is why us chosen ones are getting ahead of the game right now. That is why we speak our truth. That is why we are out here to try to wake up the rest of society, man. We have to. All right, we have to. And I know there's some people that's not going to awaken. You got to remember that there's some people that is not going to awaken because they're too far gone, family. They're too far gone. Their minds have been hijacked and it won't and it won't work. All right. We are in a spiritual battle. And guess what? There's going to be innocent casualties, man. It's just like a real war. All right. This is a real battle that we are in. This is a real war that we are up against. All right. Gas prices high, foods high, inflation is, is, is causing the, the country to go crazy. People are always fighting. People are always bickering. There's so much going on. And now, with the food shortages coming in, you best believe that's going to bring more chaos into the world. Why? Because when people get hungry, man, they'll do anything for some food. Best believe it. So you better start hunting. Start, start learning right now how to uh, survive out in the woods. Start bartering. All right? Hey, you may, you may have a service that you can do versus your neighbor that has something that you need. Start bartering so you guys can trade, all right? Because things are going to get worse before they get better. They're going to get worse before they get better. And we have to stop putting our trust in these politicians. We have to start putting our trust in these people. We have to stop looking up to the people that run these organizations at the top because they don't have our best interests at heart. They don't care about us, family. They do not care about us if they don't care about the a little life of a child who's extremely pure hearted what makes you think they care about you <laughs> they don't care about you that's why when 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 c happened y'all know what i'm talking about when the c happened um over these past couple of years and they was like oh protect your grandmother do this and do your due diligence man they don't care about your grandmother family look what happened in new york with what's his name um what was y'all governor's name i can't even remember his name right now and he got and he had to step down Look what happened with him and what he did with by putting all those um, uh, those sick individuals into the uh, the nursing homes and stuff. Man, they don't care about y'all. They don't care about your neighbor. They don't care about the elderly. They don't care about the children. Satan does not care. The enemy does not care. Okay, so if you are fighting and bickering with your neighbors, with people all the time, don't even do it family it's not even worth it okay i know i know we're, we're out here to try to awaken others we're trying to we're trying to help humanity we're trying to help society okay but if you have told someone something multiple times and they're not taking it upon themselves to search and do the research to see if it's actually true they're just telling you flat out that you're crazy and that you're wrong leave these people alone you got to wipe your hands with them because they're a lost cause just let them go and go on to the next person all right, go on to the next person. We, we got to wake up, family. We got to wake up, man, because what happened in Kansas City, that, that makes no sense to me, and I don't believe it. I absolutely do not believe it. How many of you are, are farmers or truck drivers or anything like that, or maybe no farmers or no truck drivers? Drop some comments down below in the comment section. Let us know what, you, what your thoughts are. 
Let us know y'all theories, man, because y'all may have some better insight than we do since you may work on the farm or since you might be, you know, delivering the product to farmers and to grocery stores. All right. All I know is, is that I don't believe that there's no way that these large, massive animals that was created by God um, that can withstand the heat, that can withstand the snow, that can withstand all types of weather um, just died. They all just died just miraculously overnight. I don't buy it. I don't buy it whatsoever. OK, they are trying to starve us, family. They are trying to starve us. They take our food away and then they take your Second Amendment right away. They take your guns away. Man, it's going to get it will be extremely worse, extremely worse. All right. So you got to stand your ground, family. You have to stand your ground. This battle is serious. All right. What what is happening through revelations manifesting into the physical? This is some real stuff. All right. That's why this community that I'm creating, I want serious people here. I want people here that's ready to become their greatest self. Not only that, who's ready to take on the spiritual battle and the spiritual warfare that we are going through, right? Because as a collective, right? As a collective conscious, if we are all on the same level, if we are all on the same vibration, right? Putting out prayer, putting out and meditating on the same thing to create a better life, a better world, all right? That is what is going to get it done, all right? But if, if too many people is distracted and we're not standing together, family, there is strength in numbers, all right, there is strength in numbers. There is strength in unity. That is why they want you divided in everything that you do. That's why religion was man-made to keep you divided, to keep you and all of us divided, okay? But what we are experiencing right now with food shortages, formula shortages, all right? They're going after our future generation family. They're going after the kids. You have to t protect your children right now at all costs. At all costs, you must protect your babies. All right. And, and, and teach your babies to stand up for themselves as well. Teach your kids what is going on. Teach your kids to know right from wrong. Teach your kids um, to know not to sign something in school, you know, from somebody so that they can receive a free something. OK, family, they're going after our kids. They're going after the weak minded. They're going after not that your kids are weak minded. I'm just saying they're going after the weak minded. They're going after, you know, they're going after us. They're trying to take us out. OK, and if we don't stand strong, family, it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. And this is going to be the end of our generation. Like this is going to be the end of humanity. If we don't do something now about it, that's going to be the end of us, family. It's going to be the end of us. OK, so whatever you guys are experiencing, all right, whatever you guys are learning and seeing, continue to keep on keeping on and remember to share that information out. Right. If you are learning information and you're doing your research, you're doing your due diligence and you're seeing it to come. That is true information. And that stuff isn't adding up or making sense. All right. God is giving you all revelation. God is showing you something. OK, use it to help wake up the rest of the world. Use it to help wake up humanity. I love my mother to life, y'all. And the thing is, is that me and her, we bickered back and forth over and over and over again so many times because not being on the same vibration because I've tried to feed her information. She was like, you need to look at it in a different way. Maybe you're looking at it wrong, you know, but now she's starting to see what I've been seeing. She's starting to see, well, wait, maybe this, maybe you're onto something, Kevin. This doesn't seem right. All right. If you continue to feed the information to them, right? they will begin to see it. Now, I'm not saying, you know, drill it in them. You know, you got to sometimes let people come across their own truths. All right. And I made this mistake of drilling it in when I first had my awakening. I was like, oh my God, you got to see what's going on. You know, but now I'm kind of cool, calm and collect. I'm laid back. I still share information with people and tell them they need to look at it. They need to pay attention. But I also start to let people come across their own truths. All right. Because none of this is making sense. And like I said, if they're spiritually dead, and if they can't see clearly of what is happening in the world right now, you got to wash your hands with them and let them go and just go on to the next person. OK, so quick recap, family, grow your own food, man. Grow, start growing your own food indoors, outdoors. Help your neighbor out. Go to the grocery store for them if they need it. All right. They're trying to starve us. They're trying to starve us. So right now you need to stock up on food. You need to stock up on water. Get what you can get. All right, because we're going to need it and you're going to need it in the long run. I'm trying to tell you all right now. OK, so family, if this video resonated with you today, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right here. Like I said, any farmers or any truck drivers here on the channel, leave us some comments, man, in the comment section below. and Let us know your thoughts. Let us know your, your you know, what you, what do you guys think about what has happened in Missouri? 
all right? Because it only, I'm sure it's not only happening there. I know this has probably happened in other places, all right? But you're in slowly, they're gonna start to drip this information out and show it to us, man. And they're gonna tell us, oh, it's just global warming or they had a respiratory disease. But before you know it, you're not gonna be able to find beef or any type of food, um, you know, in the grocery stores. You're gonna go to these grocery stores and the shelves are gonna be empty and it's already happening, that's the thing. It is already happening. I've already seen it with my own two eyes when I have walked into the store. And I know a lot of y'all can probably resonate with this because you have probably seen it yourselves as well, okay? So guys, keep on keeping on. Remember to stand strong, stand strong. Stay with your neighbors. Stay with the people that's with you. Um, the people like the people that's with you on the same vibration, stay with them, man. All right. And continue to keep on keeping on and continue to push out positive energy, love, happiness, joy, and, uh, continue to just be there for each other. Okay. Cause we have to, and remember, stop trusting the people in high places because they do not have your best interest. They are after us and they're all in it together. They're all in it together, family, okay? So I love y'all to life, man. I hope y'all have a great Thursday, a great rest of your day. If you can, go out to the store today, man. Start your garden. Invest in it. Invest in it. Invest in yourself and uh, invest in your health. That's all about your health as well, all right? Your health is your wealth, okay? So I love y'all to life. Have a great day, and I will see y'all soon in the next video. Peace.